uh, you know, get it straight down to the real estate space because all of the real estate stocks have been uh, hitting new highs. In fact, the Nifty Realty Index is at a fresh 52-week high. Kotak Institutional Equities remains constructive on the sector and we have the management of Brigade Enterprises joining us now. Atul Goel, who is the CFO of Brigade Enterprises, is with us. Atul, thanks a lot for joining in. You know, there's a very positive report uh, coming in from Kotak Institutional Securities about how, uh, you know, growth is coming back into the real estate space in a big way. But I just wanted to understand from you uh, what's happening exactly in the, in the industry because although overall growth is picking up, uh, in its note, Kotak says that Bengaluru has seen relatively modest sales with weaker launches compared to other geographies uh, and residential sales activity in Bengaluru remains weaker than markets like NCR, MMR, etc. Um, is that uh, an accurate assumption and can you help us with some numbers on why this, uh, first the numbers of course and then why are we seeing uh, a tad bit of moderation in sales in Bengaluru? Uh, good afternoon. Um, I don't think so. There is a bad decrease in uh, in uh, in uh, demand in Bangalore. You see, overall India 1.09 lakhs uh, has been sold in uh, calendar year Q1, and out of that, around 35,000 was sold in Bangalore. So Bangalore has been very strong. Launches have been slow because uh, because the baseline is going up for all the developers, and of course, uh, land tying up approvals and all. Uh, state has gone through the election, so it all delays a bit approval. So that is the only reason. Otherwise, uh, demand is very, very high, and I think Bangalore is going to uh, sustain. See, IT, ITS, still there is a, a good demand, a good demand from BFSI. And if you see uh, overall uh, affordability is increasing, interest rates have uh, been down. Uh, or maybe there is a pause by RBI. So Bangalore is going to do well. There is no doubt about it. It's, it may be a bit hiccup because of the local approvals and all, but uh, but uh, sales sustains and we are we are seeing that even quarter uh, quarter one we are having a very robust sales uh, and mainly we are in mid and premium housing. So mid premium housing is 62 percent of overall overall sale in India as well as in Bangalore. Right. But, you know, uh, uh, as a strategy, you have also looked at other geographies apart from Bangalore <coughs> looking to diversify. In the past, you've said that Chennai as well as Mumbai markets are important for you along with Hyderabad too. So going forward, uh, what are the con uh, kind of launches that you've outlined for the next couple of years? How much of the new launches would be Bangalore? How much of that would be non-Bangalore? Mumbai, you have a big plan. And... Uh... Uh, we uh, in this year we have planned 8 million of launches and they are mainly in Bangalore but Chennai we are at uh, very very uh, we have been buying land very aggressively and we have a uh, around uh, 8 million or 10 million uh, square feet of uh, land there where we are going to launch very uh, very soon I think one or two uh, projects may launch get launched in this uh, by Q4 and rest then it will uh, continue. Year on year, we, it depends upon the sale, how the market depends. If uh, if we are looking for a 15% increase in our uh, sales year on year, then definitely launches may go up to 8 to 10 million. That is what uh, we are targeting. Hyderabad market has been okay. tough. It's very difficult okay. to have a, have a land uh, JD or buying there because of the unlimited FSI. But we are working on that and we want to enter Hyderabad. We already have two projects. Uh, third project we are uh, tying up and maybe we should we will have some more uh, in near future okay uh, can you just highlight what your plan would be for bigger markets more expensive and premium markets such as mumbai as well as the ncr region so we have been uh, saying this very categorically that we don't want to enter right now in mumbai and ncr and we have been repeating this see we think that uh, as a strategy, South Indian market is very good. Brigade is a very good, well-known brand in South. Let's first see how we can uh, see that we can utilize this uh, South Indian market. And maybe we can uh, look at it uh, later on. Mumbai definitely requires a partner to enter because of the issues uh, you all know. And of course, uh, uh, for uh, NCR, I think the market is recovering now. It has gone through a very bad phase. And of course, there is not much, uh, except for DLF, no big developer is there. So it, it, uh, it definitely gives an opportunity, but we'll uh, look into it. But right now, 
for one or two years we are not going anywhere okay not going anywhere uh, god that yeah. there's a 60 crore capex for a hotel that you're planning in mysore as well tell us a little bit about that uh, what is the kind of occupancies that you're looking at in mysore when does this hotel come on stream so uh, we have already uh, now the balance is only 20 25 crores uh, it's a uh, mysore if you see we on another have a hotel in mysore it has been registering around uh, 80% of uh, occu uh, occupancy and around eras of around 7000 which we have not seen uh, before so mysore has been developing and with the new infrastructure uh, and it is a gateway uh, for the for the hill areas for karnataka so it is doing very well i uh, we are planning that we should start this hotel by q4 uh, this year or maybe q1 uh, it now interiors are going on and we should launch it very fast okay right. um as far as your commercial business is concerned uh, what kind of annuity are you expecting because you have uh, you know launched a lot of uh, land out there as well occupancies have increased out there so what's the kind of annuity that you're expecting and what's the new launch pipeline there So we have around 1.6 million of uh, launch pipeline. I'll not say only lease. There will be some mm -hmm. strata sales into that. But if you see leasing uh, revenue, we should target around 800 to 850 crores uh, uh, going forward. Then, uh, then there is a twin tower which is coming again. It will have. So our target is that within one or two years, we should uh, reach thousand crores uh, in our uh, annuity business for sure. and of course uh, we have a very good partner as gic and we continue to look for land uh, with some partners to see that we can grow this business uh, going forward as well okay mr goyal you know you put behind a very strong year in fi 23 when it came to collections it stood at over 5400 odd crores based on right. what you are assessing in terms of the south indian market and you know the projects coming up there your rental income uh do you think that you could probably better your performance from fi23 and fi24 say when it comes to collections and revenue definitely i think uh, we already have our budgets in place and we are confident that we should cross uh, cross that 5400 crores uh, this is what the trend is looking in uh, so in so when you uh, say you want to cross it can you provide hmm. a an estimate because i think you were up 30% last year is that a percentage that we're looking at is it going to be 10 to 20% give us a sense in terms of what we can expect definitely it should be more than 10% that is what i can say generally we don't give guidance but definitely more than 10% because the way see we uh, all 6 million launches which we uh, uh, sales which we have done and launches we have done uh, last year all those collections are going to uh, come this year because all construction are Uh, going on today, uh, my uh, free cash flow from uh, construction or uh, from residential or real estate is around twenty seven hundred crores, which is spread over two to three years. So all this money is going to come. Hotel is doing very well. Uh, leasing income is very steady. So I don't see that uh, any challenge in uh, increasing at least ten percent above cash collections what we have done in uh, uh, in uh, last year. All right. Uh, well, uh, we will leave it at that, Mr. Goel. Thanks a lot for joining us, <coughs> and all the best for the year to come. After a long lull and uh, you know, long period of uh, absolutely no growth, the real estate sector has come back in a big way. And they think they don't see any kind of slowdown or moderation in growth, especially in a space in a place like Bengaluru. Let's slip into a quick break.